what's up guys it's me again yours truly and I'm just getting home from work and I figured that I'm going to do a raw hello light goodbye light figured that I would do like a raw type of video um like what I mean by that is like unedited and all that kind of stuff so I figured it would be like a raw get unready with me if you want to call it that I guess um so it's going to be completely uncut and we're just going to do like um I'll just do a chit chat while I take off my makeup which by the way let me go in here and see if you guys can see it better this eye look I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, I did this eye look with the hard candy palette that I got um, in one of the hauls. Anyway, I'll put it up in a card um, up here. It'll be up here somewhere. It's like an eye card, and it'll be like right in here somewhere, and I'll put it in there. Um, so I'm just going to change and all that stuff and then I will be right back. I'm just going to pause the video. I'm not going to stop it. No edits. Alright, so I'm in my pajamas. Um, just my Marilyn Monroe. I woke up like this shirt and my sleeping shorts. Um, just take off those earrings. Oh, I wanted to go over with... Um, hello, Thumb. What I'm talking about, about the eye cards right here. So, basically you can link a video. I don't even, they're not eye cards. They're, ba they're just called cards, but I call them eye cards because it pops up up here somewhere with an eye. So it's like an information thing. So I just call it an eye card. And that links you to videos that I reference throughout my video, like the hard candy palette will be linked up here in iCard and it's always on the top. Now when I'm watching a video I think it's over here but I don't know if it's like reversed whatever it might be over here. Anyway it pops across and I'll say like suggestion and that's where I put like all my videos that I give reference to is in those cards and then the previous video that I load is down in the description box and there's a link to that it'll take you straight to it. So like I said I did my makeup today for the first time in a long time and I used the hard candy eyeshadow palette that I got and I'm like really impressed with this palette. Um, there's like something on the camera. The I've had this on for like 12 hours my makeup so it's kind of like worn out and I haven't touched it up or anything like that so it's kind of like you can't even tell anymore you can tell that I have eyeshadow on but the color that I put was like purple I'm trying to open up my makeup bag purple and like I think it was like a gold shade I'm gonna show you in the palette now the brush that comes with it it is a nice brush but I don't I don't really care for it so basically what I use I don't know where my brushes come from I got them from all over it these two came out of ipsy bags but I just used this um, Lux 223 brush it's called the short shader to pack on the purple and then I use this from Glamour Dolls, the number 10, little dolphins on it, blending brush to blend it out and also add the transition shade. I do my eyeshadow different than what you would say like a makeup guru would do. I Like I said before, I'm not a professional, so I just do it however I feel to do it however I see fit. 
Okay, so I had to pause it again. I wanted to put it on the tripod or whatever. So basically, I used my hard candy palette, and they don't have. I'll just take that brush right out. They don't have names for their colors, and if they do, I don't really have the time to look at. Like to look at every single name, but the palette is called Raining Men. So basically, I used this purple color right here and then as a transition shade I can't even say that word I use this light like gold color here so the purple is like that it is really pretty sorry about the lighting and the transition shade I use is just like a nude and they did work very well together I love this palette I had high hopes and it succeeded um, also, the foundation that I use, it's not even a foundation, it's a BB cream, I'll just go over this real quickly, um, is the, it's called BB Magic Quick Cream Liquid Foundation. I bought this off of Wish. People say don't buy makeup off of Wish, whatever. I love this BB cream. It's buildable, so you can go anywhere from like light to medium coverage because it is buildable I love it it's light it feels like there's nothing on my face I usually do like I put some here put some here forehead everywhere and blend it out with my beauty blender but that's what I use um, because to me the other foundations and this is just my opinion I feel like I have frosting on my face and I feel like I can't do like the facial expressions that I want to do with all that on. So I just set my face with the CoverGirl translucent powder and I bronzed up with the Too Faced iced tea and concealed with the Tarte Shape Shape. And the lipstick I was wearing, was wearing because it's not all day and it is worn off, was the e.l.f. Nude. I purchased this at the dollar store. I'll link that video up in a card. And then I topped it with the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Gloss. So, that was it for my makeup today. And, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take it off on this side. Like, all of it. Like, even my eye makeup. I know this is so attractive. And to remove my makeup, I just use Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes, which is my life staple. Okay? I feel like I have an, eyesh, an eyelash in my eyeball. Do I? Can you see it? Can you see it? Probably not. But I do feel like there's something in there. Um. So, like, this is no makeup over here and this is makeup over here how interesting and it kind of looks the same but in person it doesn't so we're just gonna take it off take off the makeup I like these because you only have to use one and if you don't use a lot of makeup like I don't use a lot of makeup I don't put a lot of makeup on my face you only need one you don't need no more then one. Get the four. And then it also leaves like a nice, nice feeling residue on there. And then it's all off. Literally, it's gone. There's like nothing left on my face at all. Oh, and I was going to also tell you, I primed my face with the Too Faced Hangover Ref Replenishing Face Primer, the coconut water. This is just a trial size. But I, I like this. This is, works really well. So that's how I did my makeup today. And I'm just unpacking my makeup bag. I was running late for work, so I just did my makeup at work. And for my eyeliner, I just used the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. This is a must in my makeup collection, 100%. I absolutely 
absolutely, absolutely love that. This is the brush that came with the Hard Candy Palette. So it does have like a packer. I always want to show you over here. It has a packer end and a blending end. And they are like soft. But I don't necessarily care for them. So that's why I use my other brushes instead. Like, can we get like real personal here? Like real personal guys. Uh maybe that was a little too personal, okay? But I'm just putting my makeup brushes away. I have a link on how I clean them. I will put that in a card above. Like I said, I don't wear makeup that often, so I don't really have to clean my brushes. Like, I probably should clean them more than what I do, but I don't. This foundation, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, I like it if you really want full coverage, but like I said, it makes me feel like I have frosting on my face. And it claims to last 12 hours. And then I also have the Born This Way foundation. You guys have seen me use these in other makeup looks that I've done. Once again, it makes me feel like I have frosting. The next thing that I found that's not as heavy than the, as the, um, those would be the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless whatever foundation. But I, I have those on my makeup table. And I always go for the BB cream. I love it. I absolutely love that cream. And I'm a beauty blender. I also clean my beauty blenders in that video too, I think. So I'll link it up here and you guys can go check it out. Okay, so that's enough rambling. And I'm done getting unready. So let me just say that this is probably going to be one of the worst videos that I put up, but we're not going to go there. I just kind of wanted to put up something um, like funky and let last minute, let, 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 last minute and something that wasn't, um, see this, this is horrible. This is horrible right here. What am I, what are you doing, Megan? No editing, though. We're not editing. Um, I haven't put up a raw video in a while, so I figured I would just put one up. That being said, and I'm, like, going all crazy with the camera and, like, moving it around and la 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 la. Um, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on all the other videos that I upload. I promise you they are not all like this. This is just a random quick upload. Um, and if you don't believe me, you can always check them out. Um, and then give this video a thumbs up. I don't really know what that does, but I like to see that you guys like the videos. And you guys keep your stripes, and I'll see you in the next video. I have a haul coming within the next days to come or whatever. And then some other videos that I haven't thought of yet that I will. That's coming. So, um, yep, subscribe down below. Like and keep your stripes, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. If I can learn how to turn this camera on. Hello, camera.